hi welcome this is the energy of today august 18th i hope you're doing well spirit what is the energy for today august 18th what does the viewer need to see in here for today august 18th august 18th please let's see here okay uh laughter so finding uh laughter in a dark time um, will help you sort of, you know, move away from the things that are not so nice. Peace of mind. Um, trust your intuition. And family harmony. Oh, this is good. This is like healing something within family. Um, releasing karma, you know. Karma does have a tendency to follow families. Uh, and it's not until one person in the family changes that karma and it just sort of break you break free from negativity so <clears throat> excuse me here um with the laughter here it's very much trying to stay focused on the happy things um whether that be with you or within the situation that you're dealing with um if you're kind to yourself and you're happy and you look outside of the things that are causing you to be unhappy um, you can really bring in more. It's very much, um, what do you call it, law of attraction in that sense of if you put out more happiness and um, less negativity, you will receive that. So um, just look at the silver lining in things uh, and also look at the the fun side of things. How How can you transform negativity into positivity so that would be by you standing back from your situations and find like a humor twist in it um and that will guide you into new perspectives so with the peace of mind it's almost as if you should have this kind of feeling of no matter what's going on in the world right now somewhere inside there you should have some kind of feeling from your GPS, from your, your, um, you know, your, your knowledge that you're born with, you should have this sense of knowing that everything is going to be okay, especially in the difficult times that we're living in. It, it, it really calls on you to somehow, um, you know, make peacefulness your highest priority. Uh, and by ensuring you do this, it's, it's going to give you uh, that sense of not having like a life that is full of turmoil or, you know, grieving or sadness or whatever that might be that you're dealing with and trust your intuition. It's very much, you know, I think that there is this mass awakening of letting go and following intuition and that gut feeling. And um, a lot of people are turning their back or choosing to stay in a somewhat maybe blocked kind of energy well, you can't control them. You got to keep going in your direction, okay? You're paving the way for you and your family, I see. So this is the, the way that you get to this point of trusting your intuition is through meditate. Meditate on your heart's hopes and dreams and desires and rearrange your schedule so that you're spending time with the things that truly mean something for you, you know? It's not about money and who looks the prettiest and who has who has the most friends or things like that and really I do feel like this is this big change that's happening and I think you're here for that reason you're you're guided here for a reason to to this channel to get some kind of guidance because there's a lot of dark uh, oh a lot of intoxicating things happening in the world right now but keep your head up you know um, so with the family and harmony, I think this is the focus for today. Um, you know, if you've had a lot of negativity in family, sometimes family could be friends, you know, um, pay attention to those, those families or their friends or the relationships that you, you are near, um, in your environment, uh, because sometimes they can sort of swallow you up in that dark darkness, that dark abyss, you know? So this card is telling you that um, things are healing with your family issues. And I think that's beautiful um, energy. 
So hold on to the loving thoughts and feelings about your 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 family and know that you're going through a change that's going to really allow you to tap into your soul mission more so than what it is on the 3D, if that makes sense. So as you experience genuine harmony, your family will too so don't will too so don't worry that you know your family's not being protected at this time um the top of of the deck is kindness so the more kindness you offer to the world the more you're going to get in return this is like about uh reaping what you sow you know and then so the bottom layer the bottom card which is the underlying energy and i laugh because i look at this it's a romantic partner so is there someone in your life that is is a romantic partner that has had to make maybe go through a shift um to better themselves to be able to sort of align with you this could be vice versa maybe this is you doing this you know but it's going to create a, a harmony in in your life as far as family and um loving and coming together so this is really positive i feel like for the last couple of days or so, uh, there is this sort of energy amongst soulmates and twin flames and just this kind of energy that is trying to come above, ab above all the darkness that's been happening. So I feel like either this is telling you there is a romantic partner there for you um, and it will enter your life as soon as you're balanced. So is this you learning to have that peace of mind and letting go and just trust, trust God and the Holy Spirit to guide you? Um, if you're lacking a partner, this is what's coming for you. So I'm just telling you, don't give up hope, really. And don't give up hope in yourself that you can be a better person as well. And then those other people in your family or in your environment will hopefully follow suit and not stay closed off. So it's about change, guys, really. So take it as it resonates for you today. So welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me your stories and your comments. I always appreciate them. And I do love to hear what's going on in your life. If there's even the simplest little change, that simple little change is going to change everything for you in the end, really. Um, and with the romantic partner, I just sort of feel giddy because... This is a new romance, guys. This this really is denoting that love is in the air and it's coming your way. Now, will you choose to, to receive it? You know, are you making the changes in yourself to receive it? Um, maybe this is your person changing themselves to sort of be able to give, you know. Um, maybe this is if you're dealing with the twin flame it's considered a new love because this person has had a renewal, a transformation, that sense of um, transformation. That's all. That's all I can say. Um, so what is the laughter? So be giddy and be happy so that you can attract this, in other words, okay? Um, maybe if it's not a lover, as far as a lover partner, maybe it's a partner in business, you know? you got to take it as it resonates. So... What is the laughter for today, please? Okay, so uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And see, all the badness is, is sort of coming off the wheel, guys. It's time. It's time to release those dark times and start to allow prosperity to come in and abundance and love. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a great card because it does talk about having fortune if you've been struggling with something and not having enough of this gives you that opportunity to start over and and really start benefiting benefiting for the benefiting i'm tongue-tied guys i'm sorry i don't know I'm, i still sort of feel like my heart is open and swelling you know but on a good note um i feel like with the wheel of fortune it's trying to bring you in those those things that you've been lacking um and and really, I do feel spirit and the Holy Spirit and the cosmos are all sort of behind it, uh, leading you into this place of of um, abundance. OK, so this with this card, it's like you need to stay grounded to your destiny and to your true calling and open your heart 
um, so that you can get that divine message, you know. Um, let's see here. What is the Wheel of Fortune? So you got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be a work situation for some of you where you're building a structure for yourself. Um, and it's not so much based on... Um, it's weird because it's not so much based on you racking in all this money, but it's based on happiness and balance. So are you finding that thing that makes you happy and you're doing it? Is this work for yourself? You know, if you work for yourself and you're talking about family, this is about building a legacy. So is this legacy opening up for you in order so that you can sort of manifest it and really have that kind of comfort that maybe you've been seeking or wanting or something like that okay um you got the movement of cups so there is some kind of uh offer that's going to come in for you uh you know if it's an offer of having stability within your own um like workplace or uh maybe a foundation it's coming in there's an offer there to to sort of guide you to a more prosperous place um, and that's really what the Wheel of Fortune is. So I do feel because you've been getting stronger in your core, you're getting some kind of message or offer with that is the Knight of Cups. So perhaps maybe this is something that's just sort of making you move. And it's the transformation that we were talking about. So the death card. Um, see, with the death card, it, it it's it's not an actual death that I'm talking about. It's a, It's a death of you know, the ego or materialism or codependency or living in the wrong in the wrong way, being driven by alcohol or drugs or manipulation or lies, whatever that is, that is the death of it, you know, which leaves you into that new rejuvenation, that new beginning. And so then we have the Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So see... This Wheel of Fortune is bringing you all these great things. These are great cards. Um, embrace it. Be happy. Be giddy. You're, you're moving out of difficulty here. If you've had difficulty with money, that's moving out of the way for you. If you've had difficulty in that sense of just getting the wrong partners, the wrong people behind you, whatever that is, there is something new here that is sparking hope. And so hold on to that hope. No matter of all the darkness that's going on in the environment right now, hold true to those feelings and you will get this sort of, um, they said enlightenment, this sort of enlighten, enlightenment uh, period that's going on right now. Um, and you sort of can't really, you can't focus on the ones that are not waking up and not going towards the new guys. That's the hardest part for me uh, because I have so much compassion for, for um for people that just don't see the truth and they continue to live in the same way it's very hard to let go of so it could be a lonely path but in the end you're gonna get your reward um peace of mind what is the peace of mind here please the peace of mind um i was able to meditate this morning and just it was great and i see good things coming in you know um so you got the hermit and the stars so beautiful and i do feel this is that sense of peace of mind that comes with following the spirit god the holy spirit whatever that is for you that buddha that whatever that spirit is giving you that sense of okay you're on a new path we're listening to your prayers to your wishes you will you will get them they will be granted so have a peace of mind um, the Hermit here is that kind of card where you get this sort of calling to do some introspection of your life, how it was before now, and it allows you to move away from that. You hold the key to the new beginning, to your new beginning, um, and it, it's a spiritual new beginning, okay? So you hold the key whether you want to move that way or not, so that's where I get that some of them some people are moving towards this new period but some of them are still stuck in the in that old paradigm so the hermit is really list telling you to listen to your mind to your body and your spirit connection okay um 
I do feel with this card, it's it's about, um, uh, you know, paying attention to that in, introspective approach. And in other words, you're paying attention to that time out and that time to think about everything, you know? And so what do you want to come out of your life, you know? So I do feel with the the star right there, it's a massive pull to faith, um, to God, to trusting yourself, to having this peace of mind that everything's going to be okay. And see, the card is green, so there's a lot of opening your heart for this, meaning you can keep your, your, your heart closed and you won't even notice any of these changes. You won't even notice the new the new shift that's being handed to you. But this is working with your heart chakra and opening up so you can expand, okay? Uh, whether this is you or your person, I feel like this is definitely where we're headed, you know? Um, to getting our wish fulfilled and having faith and letting go of the struggle, okay? So you have, oh, the naked heart. So becoming raw and vulnerable and healing from the past healing from those things that didn't allow you to grow okay and then you have the five of wands see the conflict the inner conflict um you know we're faced with so many things right now that um they just seem like there's just no way that this could be happening um this is where you sort of have to accept it and evolve from that place you know get over the conflict com competing against each other it, it goes back to what i said earlier you know we're in this place where everybody competes about how they look and who's the best and that's not that's not god that's that's that that's the upside down world that's got you sort of trapped in this kind of conflict and it doesn't allow you to go forward you see so the naked heart is is telling you sort of break free from that um, and you will do it. You definitely will do it. Okay. Um, the five of wands. Is that a conflict that is with someone in your environment? Or is that something you're holding within yourself? Like if you're holding it within yourself, that means you're not allowing change. That means you're turning back to this new phase that is happening for us worldwide. It's not just in your back and in your backyard. It's everywhere. Okay. Um, so you got the devil and the sage. So I do think that this is that surrender. That is the, the surrender with the devil and the sage. The sage is healing the devil energy, meaning maybe you were stuck in that mental thinking of badness and thinking that the only way you can cope with it is alcohol or drugs or um, just keeping yourself from positivity or things that you might have deemed dangerous because they're too vulnerable well they're not anymore i feel with the sage you're learning this is that sense of learning this is the sense of being aware and open and wanting to change your destiny maybe getting back on track with destiny not so much rewriting it but it's almost what i see is somebody that's gone off their path and they're sort of coming back to their path okay um so it, it definitely could be that you're overcoming that negative thinking that made you think that, you know, you wouldn't have the good things in life and you couldn't have peace. Well, this peace of mind is telling you you're awake to it and it's there if you want it, really. Um, so perhaps with the page, the page of sage, which is um, the page of, of pentacles, there is that kind of a new awakening for you to maybe find a new skill that will allow you to get out of toxic or controlling situations in other words taking that leap of faith and learning new things i see you doing something completely different than what you started out as you know like i said you went around your path around your mission and now you're coming back to where you're on your life mission again okay um, if that makes sense. So I definitely do feel with the peace of mind, this is what maybe you're thinking about, maybe going towards things that will work for you instead of working against you. 
what is the devil what is the devil this could be people in your environment this could be you the way you think um the spirit of pentacles so this has been a long learned lesson it, it's taken a long time to change to evolve into a different way of being um the 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 knight of pentacles offers you some sort of um you know stability longevity things that are tangible on the 3d things that you can see touch and feel um this is really where you're headed i think that this is the focus i i do believe that it, it's that slow moving energy um but what i heard right now as i said that is those who okay how was it it was so quickly i saw it okay those who to who wait will actually be rewarded in that sense of having patience and in that sense that things don't happen overnight those with patience will have this reward this stability so is this your person or is this you you know um that's learning this lesson and i do feel that there is an opening here for communication for coming together okay and so at this point if you haven't seen that yet the peace of mind tells you to stay focused on on the happiness that you're going to achieve okay um what is the trust intuition trust your intuition yeah trust and know that even through the turmoil that we're we're finding every day is something different if you hold on to your peace and don't look at that that's distraction that is taking you away from this new path that is trying to open up for us um if you stay and you follow your intuition you're going to be okay so you got the nine of swords so there's worry there there's worry of of things not coming to or uh, whatever that is sleeplessness or um whatever that might be for you i think that you're supposed to come past that you're, you're supposed to let go of the fear and know that everything's going to be okay so you might still be holding on to to fear or regret or whatever that nine of swords is it's causing you lack of sleep um are you not trusting yourself in this new path that's sort of been sort of laid out for you um what is the nine of swords please the nine of swords so see look at there's there's that ten of swords um it, it, with the nine of swords and the ten of swords right there i just feel as if you have this disbelief that you can let go of the stagnant energy of the bad things that happened whether those things were self-induced or you did them to other people or they were done to you whatever that is it's like you got to let it go and it's almost like a disbelief that you could change and that's the hard thing about transformation with the death card you still sort of have these moments where things don't happen like in the blink of an eye you're not fully changed it takes time so there's patience here in other words this is a person who does not believe they can change because there we go there's judgment so this judgment is holding on to the past it's holding on to the things that you just can't let go of but you see this is god this is spirit spirit saying you can let go of that stuff and have a new beginning in fact we're in this place where all the the that stagnant kind of energy where we've sort of been guided in the wrong way it's going away guys it's going away but you have to believe okay so oh beautiful you got the six of cups okay the movement of wands and the three of wands so see this is definitely um somebody wanting to reach out this is definitely your partner whether it be you or, or them you know could be vice versa remember this is a general reading so is this your person sort of renewing themselves to come back into your life and that would be your new love you know your new person because they are regenerated um i see that happening here here's the six of cups it's, it's simplicity it's something that is just comfortable it's something that you want to return to it's it's that sense of not losing hope of of happiness um it's also that kindred spirit you know that just sort of it just touches you once you come across it in this world you can't forget it and that's why you keep living in this moment um so i do feel there is still fear in in this person either wanting to reach out to you or to get out of that that worry and the sense that they can't be good enough or they'll never change 
this is about self-doubt i feel and whoever this is they're trying to master that sense of okay i'm okay i can let go of those things and i can move forward so is this a return of a lover guys is that what that is because my gosh look at here's the three of wands and here is that that page of wands so it's this hope it's this spark that is sort of moving you towards whatever it is that really is your your calling whether that's a person whether that's work whether that's healing family whatever that is okay um three of wands really expect the unexpected especially with the movement of wands is this communication is this this sort of coincidence that is happening but really there is no coincidence it's already been set in stone you know yeah so keep your faith follow your intuition don't don't stay sort of lingering to the stagnant energy it's very hard like i said it doesn't happen overnight but and you will revert to that negative thinking. But once that negative thinking, stomp it. Let it go. You know, it is, it's done. You can't change it. You can't change it. You can only change the future. So family and harmony. What is this about, please? And as I look at the family and harmony, if you're worried about your children, know that your children are going to be okay. For some of you, maybe you're still dealing with that family battle, um, lawsuit, or maybe trying to get your child something like that there is hope here uh you have to hang tight because even the court systems are changing uh, they got to revert back to the positive they've sort of been infiltrated by the you know the the the, the what i call the um upside down world that's going to change you just wait and see okay um and so here you have the heart of pentacles which is definitely that um queen of pentacles something motherly something beautiful something connected something grounded so is this healing with mom maybe uh, a mom healing for their family something like that okay um this is also that sense of keep your head up and be grounded okay the heart of pentacles what is the heart of pentacles uh maybe you are healing something with a mom or a child or something like this okay um eight of wands see it's that movement it's that communication and then <clears throat> the nine of wands to heal something so whatever this energy is it's almost as if there is this kind of bubble that you're in and it's pushing you to sort of heal and to let go of, of tricksters and that kind of energy where you hold on to the things that you've done or the things that have been done to you it, it's a breaking free is what i feel like this is the nine of wands the eight of wands um what is the eight of wands so are you moving are you communicating are these the love arrows falling down you know um from being in a stagnant place and all of a sudden things just sort of happen rapidly that's what let's see here so you got the spirit of the wands and the ten of wands so see letting go of that old baggage that old bondage that old uh, way of maybe thinking or thinking that you got to do things that are not really conducive to your growth to your happiness um there is really this new beginning the ace of wands is that new beginning i do feel like that is what's happening here um for sure a lot of wands guys a lot of passion a lot of awareness, um, maybe awareness to let go of the old, okay? Uh, I do feel like that could be happening for some of you. Um, and like, like I said in the beginning, you can't really focus on the ones that are not going in the right direction. You sort of have to go on your own, you know what I mean? Um, I want to know, okay, let's see what this is. What do they give me? See, three of cups. So you're headed towards reunion, towards happening, happiness, towards coming together. This one too, um, the four of pentacles. You're definitely head, headed towards a gain, okay? Um, yeah. So I see a lot of different things in this reading. I see, uh, you know, perhaps healing with mothers with children um with even with your twin um 
whatever this is, even in that sense of just making that money struggle go away, you know, there's a lot happening here. So very nice. Um, I do feel you'll have success in what it is that you're trying to achieve. Uh, let's see, what is the conclusion here? So once again, the, the high priestess, this is following your intuition. This is um, the, the mysteries and the secrets coming to the surface so that you can somehow accept them and change them. Um, you know, taking the bad and mixing it with the good. Um, what I'm seeing right now is yesterday, uh, one of the cards was all black. And I told you it just takes one, one speck of light to change that darkness, you see. And so there are things that are coming up, secrets. And um, this is also Mother, you know. Is that Mother Earth, Mother Mother Gaia? I don't know. It's interesting. But there is hope there, okay. Follow the intuition in your dreams at this time. Um, let's see here. What else, please? And so the Page of Cups, see? I think this is starting over an emotion and love and maybe you're getting this full cup being given to you. Maybe an invite or something like that, okay? Uh, maybe an invite to get your head on straight and really get your sense of um, priority straight. Look at that. You got the King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So this person, this King of Swords is trying to get their, their life situated so they can come back and offer you whatever it is that they need to offer, you see. Um, and see, it takes love. It takes that transformation from maybe being too logical and too worried that they aren't able to change to having self-love and really expressing that love, okay? So I do feel like that is a choice that is this, this King of Swords is making, okay? So very nice, actually. Um, let's see here. I want to know, what is the karmic cycle here? What can you show me as far as the karmic cycle here? Karmic cycle here, please. Okay, so, uh, passion, insane chemistry, loving each other equally and having fun. So, see, that's what's driving this force together is that passion, that insane chemistry. It's because your souls are connected. And then paradise, happiness, joy, playfulness, oneness, okay? The Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, a surprise invitation or meeting, what did I tell you? But it's not a, it's not, um, it's all been planned, okay? In other words, it's not a coincidence is what they said. Uh, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. That is the karmic cycle that this person is leaving. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, okay? And the boat. So receiving what you need, progression of arriving, moving on, closures. So I feel the mask is off. You know, you're you're showing true feelings and, and really being able to move towards the thing that really drives you. It is your wish fulfillment. Perhaps you had to let go of the devil energy as far as codependencies and what we talked about in the very beginning it's a transformation for somebody okay so i want to know how do they continue to manifest this please how do they continue to manifest this oh okay so here we go it says um what does your soul say right yeah what does it say are you allowing your voice to command what you're what you're what you're feeling or are you holding back okay someone needs to speak up here and then your soul shines. Yes, it is shining. It's trying to illuminate you and take you into the place that you need to go. Manifesting and doing. Great. So now is that time to take action. Okay. Um, so let's see here. What can you show me as far, as far as an insight? What's the insight for this reading, please? What is the insight for this reading? And I, I got this itchy sort of feeling in my throat. It's like, I know somebody needs to speak up and it's just sort of killing you for not speaking up. And maybe that's where you're moving towards, to, to speaking up, okay? Take a light bath. Imagine a pitcher above your head pouring out infinite light and let the light wash over you 
touch touching every nook and cranny of your being inside and out see you're trying to be illuminated and perhaps maybe you keep dampening it by going back to the past and that's not what you're supposed to do and then so this one here life flows through you experience life fully all that it has all that it has to give you let every moment flow through without holding tightly to it and avoid using labels like good and bad let all just be yeah it's a balance you know all lesson all bad things are still lessons okay um so let's see here okay what can you show me that pertains to this reading please what can you show me okay so hi racy i got him on my lap today or pretty much almost on my lap they have to come in here and listen it's like my dogs are trained they just know when i'm ready to come in here they stand in front of the door for me to let them in because they have to come in with me it's really strange it's like they just know each day when i'm ready to come in here they stand by the door and they know <laughs> that i got some some dogs they tell you okay so it says it's time it's time for action things are fast tracked to unfold quickly and smoothly see yeah so yes the answer is yes the situation or event is right on track this time this time it's taken a lot a long time to be at this place guys okay so uncertain this, at this time a situation or outcome is undetermined and that is the nine of swords and the um ten of swords that that energy where you pull back and you are uncertain but look at the rest of them are positive so that's just one little inkling of of maybe um uncertainty or self-doubt because here we go confident heroic messenger fearless assertive passionate so i guess when you take the plunge into something new you always have that kind of feeling of self-doubt if you can envision somebody getting married and they get cold feet it's it's a natural sort of occurrence so see this is telling me that this is this moment of this new sort of thing that's going to happen okay um if that makes sense, I hope I explained that right. But it's almost like you're getting cold feet because the big thing is going to happen right now. Okay, whatever that is. So loss, death, grief, closed up, brief, breakup, poverty, collapse, disposal. All the old upside down world is being collapsed right now. And they're really fighting and, and really grabbing at anything they can. You have to look. Look outside of your country to see what's happening, guys. It, it's all it's all connected i i try to talk to you guys in code but hopefully you know what i'm talking about i don't know i hope who knows um so let's see here uh what is the message here please what is the message what is the message here keep the faith really keep the faith is what they said as i was shuffling um break free outside of fear a world of love see that's where we're headed and the upside down world does not want that so we as a collective of twin flames we pray and we say no we're gonna have our freedom our thousand years a thousand years of peace and prosperity who are you we turn to love that you are and that's what's happening to your twin or to you you're returning to love okay and then the flames of love, right? Twin flames. And I didn't see the card. I just saw it right now. Surrender to the fierce fire of love. And that's what twin flames are, guys. Close the door. Say no to all which does not serve you. And there's a lot out there. I've had to turn my back on stuff. And it's my belief. And it's what God is guiding me to do. So, yeah, I've closed the doors on many. It happens. And I'm okay. So the light of love, remember the light that you are. And that's what's happening. We are remembering this light. Yes, yes, we are. And amen, God is really beautiful. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's do this one right here. I like this one. Um, what is the message of abundance here? Abundance. What is the message of abundance? What is the message of abundance, please, for today? Okay, so reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. Very good. 
um, limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous way. The divine can use anything and anyone. And yes, they can. Everything and everyone that crosses your path is meant to be. You just have to be aware. And then trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Yeah. Just trust, guys. Trust God, really. Um, so let's see. Let's see this one. What is their affirmation for today? What is the affir? Oh, and it flew out. Like you guys would have seen it. Sorry, sorry, Roycey. Sorry, Roycey. Kind of move. Okay, let's see here. Today I am learning. Today I will focus on learning to grow into a better person. And I feel like this one came out before. I get these decks of cards and I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle them, and the same card comes out, guys. It's the weirdest thing. But I know that once they start bringing me new cards that means something is changing so that's just me um let's see here let's do this one okay what are these two souls telling each other what are they telling each other today these two souls that are connected what do you what are they telling each other what are they telling each other today please okay so Let's see here. This one here. It says, act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you and you will always consider them. Um, that's law of attraction. If you're lacking it, you have to pretend that that person is here with you in order to manifest it and shift it into fruition. Uh, and then take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And yes, they are. Very nice. And then have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Yep, very nice. Um, let's see here. What is the angel message here, please? What's the angel message for them? Oh my gosh, and that one flew out too. My goodness. Okay. It says, Fiona, now that you're asked... Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receive divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Yes, you do. Don't turn your back on it, guys. Don't stay in that old paradigm. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's close it off with a soul message. What is the soul message? That one really wanted to come out. Okay. Uh, and this one. Okay, so I feel like there are two. So this one here, it says... What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? Hmm. Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were taking life into your own hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it. Take that leap of faith. Uh, today's action, no more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you are really made of. A wild soul, so strong heart, can't lose. Yep. Okay, and then this one here, it says, am I on the right path? Sorry, Lacey, sorry. Um, sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust and hope. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract and you are currently fulfilling it in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. So today's soul action, today search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. And aren't they both part of this reading? Like, definitely. I, I definitely feel this is, it just all ties in together. So I do hope you find peace in this message and just continue to go forward. Um, don't be left in the dark, guys. I continue to pray for you guys every day. So stay healthy in your mind your mind, body, and your spirit. Thank you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed day.